All right, thanks, Andrew. Uh, two questions, one for Jamel and one for Brian. Uh, Jamel, Showtime Sports President Steven Espinosa was saying that you were like one of the more exciting fighters out there in the 154 pound division and that you should be appreciated for what you've been doing uh, there at 154. Kind of like going to that in your legacy at 154 and if you get this win, how that could like put you there as far as like being the Hall of Famer as mentioned on Saturday. Um, I, if I'm gonna be on the Hall of Fame, you know, it's gonna be legacy fights like this one. And I, I look forward for it. I appreciate Stephen Espinosa for uh, giving recognition for when it's due and giving flowers when they deserve, where they to be deserved. But, uh, um, you know, I don't, I don't, ex I don't create these lists. I don't make out these rules. I just fight, you know what I'm saying? So becoming a Hall of Fame is obviously my moment. And these are the moments right now. Yeah, now my question for Brian Castaño. Um, I know that you know you had this fight coming up on May 14th, but uh, it seems like there was you know the delay for the fight that was originally scheduled on March 19th, but also uh, the previous year, like immediately after the first fight, it seemed like you know the fight could materialize during uh, 2021. Not like going to, if possible, why the fight could not happen in 2021. But you mean like why the first fight happened happened later in the year? What's what's the I mean what's the, the question? First, it does it happened in July. So what's the what's the question so, of as far as why it could happen earlier? No, my question is the first fight happened in July twenty twenty one. Why is it that it couldn't have happened like like in late twenty twenty one or and it had to be pushed to at least March twenty twenty two initially? The first the first fight against Charlo, you mean, or against another opponent? The first fight against Charlo. Okay, so why couldn't it happen earlier? That's the question. Right. Yeah. Why couldn't it happen? You know, between like November, December of twenty twenty one. Oh, you mean the you mean the rematch? Okay. Correct. Uh, so it's uh, okay. Sorry, I was trying to understand the question fully to translate it accurately. Bueno, Brian, me pregun la pregunta es por qué la revancha contra Charlo no pudo haberse disputado como en diciembre de dos mil veintiuno. Por qué se tardó obviamente primero hasta marzo y ahora hasta mayo del 2022. ¿Hubo algún factor o era simplemente el calendario? No, simplemente el calendario, el calendario obviamente. Se ve que él estaba, estaba después de la pelea, a la primera semana, a la segunda semana, se puso a entrenar de vuelta para pelear en diciembre. Realmente era algo que él quería, pero esto se arregla entre las dos partes. Y por eso arreglamos para pelear en febrero, ¿fue no? Eh, así que nada, pero bueno, después vino la elección pero yo no voy a pelear cuando él quiera, esto se tiene que arreglar entre las dos partes y, y concordar una fecha que, que le quede bien a los dos. Eh, pero bueno, peleas son peleas, ahora por algo se estiró para esta fecha, realmente tardó mucho tiempo, pero bueno, eh, así son las peleas grandes y, y hay que esperar, aunque en mayo 14. It was just a, match, a matter of scheduling, nothing more than that. I know that, he, that Charlo wanted uh, December, it was something that he wanted, but it takes both sides to come to an agreement. And we have come to the agreement uh, that we to fight in March, which wasn't that far away from December anyway. Then the injury happened, and now we're fighting on, my, on, on May 14th, where that's what happens with big fights. It, it takes it takes a little give and take. It takes negotiations. The important thing is that it's going to happen, and that we're going to wow the crowd on May 14th. All right.